Hi, it's Katrina. Mosquitoes and other annoying pests have been around for millions of years. From gigantic blood-sucking parasites to eating bones, here are 10 scary creatures that bug the dinosaurs. Number 10. Lacewing Research that looked at 35 amber samples from Myanmar, France, and Lebanon found evidence that not only were lacewings alive during the time of the dinosaurs, but they also were the first species that we know of to use camouflage for both attack and defense. One fossil showed the aftermath of a lacewing larva's attack on a pseudoscorpion. It had sucked the nutrients from its prey and then hoisted the remains on its back so it looked like a dead animal. This made it less appealing to its natural predators and ensured that any potential prey wouldn't have seen it as being a threat until it was too late. It would have even smelled like the pseudoscorpion. But this isn't the only way the species camouflaged itself. Some used grains of sand as body armor and were able to turn their legs around to carry these grains on their backs, which would have helped them blend into the background and also protected against bites from predators like spiders. Others coated themselves in residue from plants and would have been virtually indeterminable from their surroundings. It was a surprise to researchers how adept at camouflage these larvae were, and it shows how dangerous an environment that they lived in that such adaptations were necessary to survive. Number 9. Bed Bugs They can be a real annoyance to us as we sleep, but it turns out that bed bugs have been around for more than 100 million years and began to thrive while the dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. It had long been thought that they had evolved alongside bats, based on the fact that the earliest fossils of the creatures had been found in bat fossils from about 50 million years ago, but analysis of bed bug DNA from 34 species around the world suggests that they predate that by another 50 million years. Over time, they have adapted to feed off various species, and it's not yet clear what they originally used as their food source. Could it have been a T-Rex or an early type of mammal? Usually, they tend to like animals that have a home base, such as a nest, which is not how dinosaurs lived. But since the largest ones would have been such a permanent food source, there are many who believe that the first bed bugs would have latched onto a dinosaur and remained on that individual for their entire life, since there was no easy way to pick them off. Number 8. Damselflies Damselflies are closely related to dragonflies, but a little smaller and narrower. And a recent discovery in 2017 showed that they were prevalent during the time of the dinosaurs, around 100 million years ago. Encased within a lump of amber that was found in Burma were three specimens. Each of them is male and unusually have their tibias in an expanded position. This is part of a pre-mating ritual that fends off competing males and attracts females, and is far more pronounced than in similar species today. The tibia in these damselflies has a wing-like shape and an eye-shaped spot, which is also thought to have been to attract a mate in the same way as a peacock's feathers. Unfortunately for these three, though, they were interrupted during their competition by the tree sap that trapped them forever and became the amber. So despite putting their best efforts in, none of them managed to win the girl. Number 7. Manipulator modificaputis during the time of the dinosaurs, it wasn't just the reptiles that grew to be big and scary, but the bugs did too. One of the creepiest is known as the Manipulator modificaputis, which was a predatory cockroach that first emerged around 100 million years ago. The remains of one were recently found in amber in Myanmar, and based on its anatomy, a lot can be deduced about how it lived. It had an unusually long neck, which allowed its head to rotate and very long legs two things that are seen as proof that it actively pursued its prey, likely at nighttime. There are several species known to have existed during the Cretaceous period, and they are distantly related to the one species that still exists today. Can you guess what it is? The praying mantis. Number 6. Thrips The lower Cretaceous period, while usually spoken about in relation to dinosaurs, was also the time that flowering plants began to develop. Pollinators thrived and were crucial to the flower's ability to reproduce. And one of the early species that performed this role is known as thrips. Research in 2012 that looked at amber specimens from northern Spain found six preserved thrips, which are also called Thysonoptera, and these ones still had traces of pollen on their tiny bodies that are only 2 millimeters long. Not only is this proof that they lived around 105 million years ago, but it's also the earliest known evidence of pollination taking place, a process that's vital to our ability to live in the way that we do. Number 5. Fleas 
If you've ever been around fleas, you'll know how annoying they can be, but imagine them being 10 times the size, with an equally as big bite and thirst for blood, and that's what the dinosaurs had to face on a daily basis. The researchers who discovered these prehistoric monsters described their bite as being like a hypodermic needle going into the skin because of the supersized proboscis they used to feed. They were found as fossils in Inner Mongolia, and while looking very much like a soft-bodied flea, are thought to be the ancestors of a long extinct flea lineage. As well as having a vicious straw to drink blood through, they also had long claws that they could use to hold on tightly to the scales of their prey to ensure they could finish their meal before being shaken free. Number 4. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes are one of the largest causes of human fatalities throughout the world because of the diseases that they carry, with some estimates suggesting as many as 400,000 people die each year because of malaria alone. Their annoyance hasn't simply been since we've been around, though, and a discovery announced in early 2019 suggests that their impact hasn't changed much in 100 million years, even if the species has. They have been equally annoying to all species with blood for millions of years. Found in amber in Myanmar again, researchers have identified a new type of anopheline, which is the family of mosquitoes that carry malaria. At the time it was caught in the tree sap, it would have been living in a tropical forest surrounded by velociraptors and T-rexes, and would have fed on birds, small mammals, and reptiles of all sizes. They definitely would have been bothering the dinosaurs in the same way as they do us, and researchers are now looking at whether they could have been vectors for diseases spreading. Some believe the true reason for the extinction of the dinosaurs was a plague or an illness, and it's quite possible that mosquitoes were the ones responsible for spreading it. Number 3. Beetles When studying fossils of prehistoric creatures, paleontologists often identify bite marks and blemishes on the bones, but it was only in 2008 that a culprit for the indentations was uncovered. A report released by a researcher at Brigham Young University, Idaho, looked closely at the remains of a Camptosaurus that had died around 148 million years ago. The herbivore had been found in 1995 and had insect traces all over it. It was immediately clear that they hadn't been formed by termites or other insects in recent times, and instead had infested the dinosaur's body within the weeks after its death. After careful analysis, it was determined that the bite marks had been made by a species of beetle from the family called Dermestidae. They would have moved in after other insects had eaten away most of the flesh and began to harvest what was left over. Relatives of these beetles still exist today. They are brown or black, oval-shaped, and feed on the flesh, hair, skin, and horns of carcasses. The discovery shows that very little has changed in the beetles since the time of the dinosaurs, and because of their preferred habitat, it can be inferred that the region where the bones were found in Wyoming was almost twice the temperature that it is today. It also proves that dermestid beetles were alive much earlier than previously thought, as these predated the previously oldest fossil by 48 million years. Number 2. Ticks Ticks are another species that we're all too familiar with today, but also bugged the dinosaurs tens of millions of years ago. A collector in Burma found a lump of amber in 2017 that contained one that appears to be entangled with a feather, and it's teaching scientists a lot about how they lived. The exact species of animal that the feather came from isn't yet known for certain. It could be a dinosaur, or it could be an early species of bird. Either way, it would have been a great meal for the tick. Ugh, ticks are the worst. Another lump of amber had an identical type of parasite in it, but this one had only just finished a meal before it was caught in tree sap. This one was eight times its original size, which means it was probably engorged with the blood of its victim. The finds were some of the first that proved that parasitic insects plagued the animals of the Cretaceous period, and if how they behave today is anything to go by, they would almost certainly have fed on all feathered animals of the time especially dinosaurs. Number 1. Armored Spiders Arachnophobia is quite common in people today, and while there is no evidence to suggest dinosaurs were afraid of spiders, fossils have been found of eight-legged beasts that were as scary as any alive today. Two species were found in amber from a northern mine in Myanmar as well, and are covered in strange features unlike anything that had been seen before. They were members of a family called Tetrablemidae and had hard armor plating over their bodies and horns on their fangs. The species had six or fewer eyes on the top of their heads, although these specimens didn't have any because they didn't preserve well, but their adaptations for surviving in the Cretaceous forests are clear to see. 
The armor would have protected them from predators like wasps, and the horns in their fangs would have helped them to grip onto anything they were trying to eat. It's not clear whether this was a species that used a web or one that opportunistically hunted food, but it does show what spiders were like back in the day. Fortunately, this species was only about a quarter of an inch long, but anything larger would have been very unlikely to be caught in amber. There were probably much larger spiders like these, ones that perhaps one day will be found in fossil form. Thanks for watching! Can you believe these bugs that were around annoying all the dinosaurs? Which one did you think was the creepiest? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!